Hi guys, my name is Romain Lambert. In the first video, we showed that the great stories connect us to the characters and our emotions. Stories can change us. They have that power. And there are psychology studies that explain why. Now I'm going to open your brain and see what's inside. I'm asking this question about change, but you could tell me, why would I need to change? I'm fine like this. So let's consider the most brutal event that could happen to your mental health, the trauma. When you experience a trauma, there's a specific event that causes a shock, but it's life. You can't do anything about it. It happened. What you can control, consciously or unconsciously, is how you respond to that trauma, how you respond to that emotional shock. In his book, entitled Comment Hitchcock Maguire, Serge Tisseron, a French psychiatrist, psychiatrist, is it? Psychiatrist? Psychiatrist? Serge Tisseron experienced a trauma and he explained, to protect myself, I split my mind in two. I abandoned the part inside me who was feeling and I was committed only to the part within me who thinks, judges, and reasons. This split was useful. I could survive mentally, and I could keep socializing with people, even though it was at the expense of my emotional life. That's an example of ego defense mechanism, a mental disposition we adopt to survive. But the problem with that mental disposition is that it's useful at one point, but it's dangerous when we keep using it all the time. And that explains a lot of strange behavior around you. Everybody has a specific ego defense mechanism. Uh, some ego defense mechanisms are called mature. We can find a way to cope with trauma by helping people, or joking, making jokes all the time, or creating, that's called sublimation, like, writing, right? <laughs> but there are other mechanisms, more aggressive, that lead to neurotic, pathological, or immature responses. Serge Tisseron was intellectualizing. He said he felt dead inside. Hitchcock stories brought back his emotional life. Why is this emotion so related to you? What does the story say? And thanks to the story, what do you understand about yourself? It can be a way to process what's happening in life or what happened in life and accept it and transcend it. That's why we can say that stories are metaphors. They are representation of what we feel and why we feel them. You don't have to be traumatized to enjoy a movie, okay? Whatever happened to you or whatever your personality, we don't always understand what our heart means because our mind can trick us. Sometimes we think we need or we want something, but we don't realize we are blind and we need something else. The great stories tell us, open your eyes. A perfect illustration of this idea is in Pixar's movie, Up! Be there. You're entering in a spoiler zone in Up! Carl suffers because his wife dies. That is big trauma. And to survive to that trauma, he reacts with an ego defense mechanism. It's isolation. We see it because he still wants to realize the dream he shared with his wife, to live in Paradise Falls. He thinks that realizing this dream will bring meaning to his life. But a young boy knocks at his door, Russell. Good afternoon. My name is Russell, and I am... It's the real call of adventure. Oh, I'm doing fine. And he finds a way to fly away. He escapes everybody. But there's a problem. The boy follows him. Ah! Hi, Mr. Fredrickson. Carl wants to bring his house to Paradise Falls, but he keeps meeting new people. Carl sees his new friends like obstacles. 
No. My name is Doug. I have just met you, and I love you. Cal doesn't want to be loved. He doesn't want to meet anybody. He made me this collar so that I may talk. Squirrel! But at one point, he gives up his friends. You gave away Kevin. Because he doesn't want to let go of his past. You just gave her away. Of his former life. This is none of my concern. I didn't ask for any of this. What he cares is his house to Paradise Falls. And he succeeds. Now what? Does this dream bring meaning to his life? I don't think so. And he doesn't think so. He starts to understand it. Russell! I'm gonna help Kevin, even if you won't! No, Russell, no! But that house belongs to the past. He has to let it go. What brings meaning to his life is this. Russell and the other characters he met will need it. He adopts new values. He becomes someone new. Up is a metaphor that tells us you don't have to get stuck in the past. Cool. What you need is this, <laughs> to have new Don't adventures. So much, That's what good myths Easy, tell us. Russell. Open your <laughs> eyes. Wow. You will never be alone. All right, I think that uh, covers everybody. So let's give a big explorer call to our brand new senior wilderness explorers. Ready, everybody? And that's it for today. I invite you to follow my next videos and let me know in the commentaries what film or what book opened your eyes on yourself. Let's get back to writing.